Okay, this is Dale's train. Dale decided that he wants to cut off right about here, uh, so it's the same elevation as these other cuts. And so let's do that. You start a cut um, by the with the bottom. If you cut all the way through from one side, you could rip uh, rip the bark. So. Close up of that if you can, Dale. See, nice. We want a clean cut. That's not as clean as I'd like. Okay. And we're going to do a, uh, a bark or a rind graft on there. Do. Okay, here we are back in the, the orchard. This is our uh, Franken tree, as we name it, because we've got the several different grafts that we did in 2010. You see how they've grown away. This graft here was, uh, it's about an inch in diameter. Um, it was only about six inches long. The, the terminal bud grew, uh, that's a good, that's about five feet long last year. So a terminal bud is gonna grow straight up. If you pick a bud off the side of the, of the cyan that you put on, it'll grow a little bit to one side. Um, notice on this one back here, uh, we picked an, an outward facing bud, so we got a little bit of this horizontal uh, spreading of the tree is the idea. If you just take a terminal bud off the top of your scion, it's going to grow mostly right straight up. So if you have more than we're going to have here, here's our uh, here's our, our, our graft cut, first cut. We're going to put in a rind graft on both sides, and we're going to have a bud sticking off to the outside so that if we keep both of these scions growing, we're going to we're going to encourage it to grow outward they split instead of growing right straight moving side by side. Okay, uh, let's see how we do this bark graft now. Uh, a quick example, I'll use, I'll, this is not a, a cyan, uh, it's not a dormant cyan, but I'll use this for an example. We're going to cut into the bark, we're going to slip this in behind the bark. So you take your knife, you make a cut, maybe about an inch long just in through the cambium layer. And uh, this should be done after the tree is in, is in uh, the buds are breaking and the sap's flowing. We just sort of peel that bark outward a little bit carefully. Don't cut the inner surface. And just peel it back, it should slip free. And then you take a piece of your cyan wood that you've had in the refrigerator for a couple months uh, and you make two nice quick cuts. You want a, a V shape, no, that should be messed up. A little bigger sign would have helped. Okay, you want it nice, smooth. You know, a little longer. Nice and clean. Don't touch it with your fingers. Uh, and then that goes right back behind the bark. I usually just put it on, on one side of the bark. You could put it right directly in the middle of the, of the cut, uh, in which case some people only actually do a cut on one side of the limb and leave the bark on the other side. I figure I get better contact if I split this open and put it just under one side right into there. Now I would take and wrap it with Use some paraffin wax tape, uh, cellophane tape. Uh, you might want to use some wax first, paraffin wax or beeswax or grafting wax to seal this in. Make sure you very tightly wrap the bark. You don't want the split to propagate down. Okay, and you just tight, tightly wrap it. Um, cover the end with some sort of a, either a wax or a spray seal or a, a dab of seal on there with a, some pre seal coating and that would be one graft. You would then maybe cut this to an outside facing bud because we want the tree to grow out this way and the graft on this side to grow this way. So I don't want a terminal bud that would just go straight up and out. So I would cut that off. 
cut it back to an outward facing butt. That would be your rind graft example. Okay, we have the two scions ready. One of them's been put in. And I'm going to place the second one in with the uh, the bud facing outward. There we go. I have some grafting tape here. paraffin tape. It will not, you can stretch it, it doesn't put a whole lot of force. So I need to put several, several times around. If it breaks, just try it again. Pressing on the two scions as I wrap it. Stretching the tape as I go. Tape stretches very easily. And you gotta stretch it without it breaking. Okay. gets a little warmer uh, this wax would flow a little easier does not want to stick don't touch it with your fingers though doesn't want to stick on that wet limb in not to stick it might stick more we'll cover this with some uh, with some paraffin wax Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add some paraffin wax in here. You can buy this in tubes or in, uh, in, in tape uh, uh, tubes. Uh, you can also work the graft or work the wax with your fingertips. It helps if you put a little vegetable oil on first, which I don't have right now, but I'm going to just wrap this around. The paraffin wax, paraffin wax uh, stretches very easily. So you want to pull it and stretch it as you go around. Overlap the outside of the bark. And you want to stretch it enough that it stretches the wax without it breaking. If it breaks, well, just keep going. And I'm going to go right up around, a little bit closer to the science. paraffin and wax, this tape, because it, it's just so malleable and stretchable. And with the wax underneath it, this tape never has to be removed. It'll, uh, buds will be able to push right through it. You know, the cyan will. Okay, so we have outward facing buds. Uh, these buds, when they leaf out, these are our secondary buds. Uh, it will, as long as these two buds that we want to bud break fine, uh, we'll probably just snip these off. We don't want inward growing uh, branches at this point. So there's one done. Now this is what variety, Dale? Fortune. Fortune? No. Fortune, Fortune. and wealthy. Wealthy. Okay, that's going to be an expensive branch. Fortune <laughs> and wealthy.